Claire Bergner was Mr. Republican, uh, he and Pete Wilson. And uh, I asked him uh, how I should get involved in the Republican activities, and Claire said, well, you probably should start with running for the Central Committee, which is the, the governing body of the Republican Party here in San Diego County. Uh, as I was running for the chairmanship, I determined that there was a, a, a need for this, uh, this organization wherein we could tie into the business community and have the business community uh, basically as a fundraiser for the, for the party. Uh, when I was elected, I took it then out uh, to the people in the city and we got about 20 members, the first 20 are the easiest. I uh, contacted Claire and asked him if he would serve as an honorary chairman of the Golden Eagle Club and talk to some of his friends. These were all of the important business people in town who were the ones that kind of swung in with the idea of a business pack. Claire Bergner was, was really the guiding light of the whole program. He's the one that made our idea and prospect uh, legitimate. Claire agreed to be honorary chairman, and between those men and Claire's uh, representation of the, the club, uh, everyone wanted to be a member. You just wanted to be close to these people because of their reputations and, and great status in the community. It was not unusual for us to have a major national figure, especially during the Reagan-Bush years, uh, because of uh, I had, uh, at the risk of uh, life and a limb, I had supported uh, George Bush Sr. against Ronald Reagan, which did not make me any friends in California. But when he became vice president, and when he, when he became president, he would be very uh, uh, receptive to my invitations to come to San Diego. On September 25th, 1983, a Sunday. The Friday before, we were sitting around brainstorming about who we could get for an event. And just on a lark, I called Executive Director of Vice President Bush's campaign staff in Houston just to ask the question if the Vice President was ever coming west, we'd like to have him stop and see us uh, in San Diego. Jack Temple had put it together. He, uh, he came on a Sunday morning, which uh, was amazing to me. And his staff had told Jack that he could only be on the ground for about 20 minutes, when in reality it was an hour, hour and a half. Well, as everybody knows, San Diego was Ronald Reagan's lucky city. And one thing led to another. And we got a phone call a couple of hours later. Yes, the vice president will stop in San Diego Sunday. Well, this is Friday afternoon. We have the Vice President of the United States coming and landing his airplane at Lindbergh. So we had to do, do some work. The Vice President and I were hanging out in the back of the uh, what is today the, the commuter terminal. But in those days, it was a giant PSA maintenance hangar. We got a hold of Floyd Andrews of PSA, and he volunteered one of his hangars for Air Force Two to park. Our 20 members, we were called and said, this is going to happen in two days. Get some of the people that are good prospects for membership and bring them along free. We, there were crates and engines and all kinds of things there uh, in the middle of our banquet tables. I was told never leave his side because we didn't want him just standing around by himself. So I hung out with him and uh, we wound up the last 20 minutes he was here in town talking about his dog, which was you know, a big deal for him, but uh, uh, I thought, boy, this is sort of interesting. You get to spend all this time with the vice president and you're talking about his dog. When we walked the vice president back to his airplane, uh, we being Garden Loose and myself, and at the foot of the ramp, he shook our hands and he turned to me and he said, this is, this is for having the guts to uh, support me against Reagan. And I would say that uh, that day was the day that uh, the Lincoln Club then the Golden Eagle Club, that was their birthday. And of course the rest is history. We knew the business community needed to speak up and make sure that their voice was consistently heard. And it was great joy. We were excited because we were involved in, uh, uh, on, the, on the good news side, we were just at the start of the Reagan Revolution. And on the bad news size, side, we were all struggling through the Carter economy. You would go to recruit people and they would be excited about it and we would have 
really fun events. If you were anybody in the Republican Party or in the Reagan administration and you were coming into the San Diego area, you were dro definitely dropping by to say hi to us. Uh, we had a, a pretty good conservative uh, city council. Uh, Bill Cleeter, Ed Struxma, uh, Gloria McCall. We had this big powwow up in L.A. with all the party leadership um, throughout California. Lee was chairing the meeting and this was a very controversial issue of uh, having an independent reapportionment committee. The Lincoln Club of San Diego took a big lead in uh, helping fund and raise money for this effort. We had all kinds of issues going on at the city at the time. We had, uh, we had debates. In fact, I think Alan led some very positive debates about the issue of Republican interface in what was then considered nonpartisan uh, political activity. As we look today, there is, uh, you know, the voters just passed uh, uh, that referendum on uh, independent uh, redistricting. So uh, sometimes things take a, a long time. It was so important, and, it, it, and even more so today, I think, 25 years later, it was so important that we articulated the business perspective on, on how it interfaces with politics and what it meant to an economy, what it meant to jobs, what it meant to people's lives. And we were kind of tired, if you will, of getting kicked around as the bad guys. And we wanted to point out we weren't the bad guys. We were the people that were creating wealth opportunities for people, creating jobs for people, trying to make our community better. For all of you in the Lincoln Club, you have every reason to be proud of who you are and what you're doing. But you have great work to be done in the future. The important thing with the Lincoln Club as with any organization, is membership. All of you should be bringing members in so that the bigger you are, the better you are. And you can carry out the precepts uh, of the Lincoln Club for the business community and the future of uh, San Diego County. Happy birthday, Lincoln Club. You don't look 25. Um, I want to thank uh, tonight uh, the Lincoln Club uh, founders, first of all, uh, Claire Bergner, who is, who's passed from us and was a wonderful man, and Alan Royster, who uh, had the vision to uh, start this organization. And uh, to everyone who's attending tonight, I hope you continue to support uh, the Lincoln Club. It's a great organization and uh, made up of great men and women. Thank you.